You know what time it is? It's time to slay the spire. Uh, were we not in the middle of a run? Apparently not. Apparently we beat... What did we beat? I think we beat Ascension 16 on Silent. I think that's where we ended. Or did we fail a run with Blue Boy? I don't remember. I don't remember where we were, but fuck it. We're Blue Boy now. I won the game with Silent. Yeah, I thought I thought that's what I did. Hmm. I think random common relic. Random rare card could be not great. It could also be. I mean, do I want Echo Form this early? I really don't need Echo Form before the first boss. I don't think. <laughs> hey there, live high. It's like, what other? It's like creative AI? It's like, no, you don't need that sort of scaling till later. It's like, we could get all for one again and do something absurd. It's possible. Um, what else? It's like, core surge, biased cog. Nah. Might be good, might get us uh, an extra non-common relic later. 30 gold's not great considering, you know, a hundred gold is one of the other meow options, you know, with no downside, so. Not super. That's our only three fight. Oh, no, I lied. Fight two dudes, fight two dudes. Looks like I fight two dudes. Two dudes, one bonfire? That's... Ugh. Or one dude, two bonfires. There was a way to refresh on this page instead of just going back. What do you mean? Is there not a way? You can't just like... Hit the refresh button? All right, let's rock and roll. Uh, pray. Nice. Iron Jesus delivered, not on mobile. Well, that's a butt. It's a big stinky butt. Okay, we should have it next turn. Fuck. I was like, I literally just need any attack. And or dual cast. There we go. Wow. Some lopsided hands. Power potion. Very nice. Genetic algorithm right meow? Right meow. Might actually be D. Well, hold up. It could be 3, 5. Okay. It probably won't be any better than a regular defend by here. If it's sentries, it's actually probably playable in the sentry fight. Uh, elites. So Gremlin Knob's AI is vulnerable, whack, whack, vulnerable, whack, whack. Which is the worst. The worst combination of moves. You're gonna have to phone him yourself, Miyuki Obama lum. He might still be awake, but also no. Actually, no, probably not. <sighs> Where are my other options? What's the boss? Slime Tony? We'll see if that was a bad decision. Oof. Oof. Fucking oof. Well. What's the next card we draw? Yeah, it was a defense, so it costs us four health so far. So that's a plus. I don't want to get too defensive here. I could take the streamline because we don't have we don't have a lot of card picks between now and. Uh, the big man. Okay, we 
should have next turn, probably. Maybe. Maybe not. Mm. I can do 12 damage. Okay, so it's cost us 6 health so far. Just take a loop now. That seems reasonable. Right before a fucking shop. Come on. Nah, we're, we're, we're locked into two elites now. You can't go backwards. You can't just be like, whoa. Dang. Dang. That would be sick. Blood Vial could help a lot over the course of this run. <laughs> I haven't picked up much in the way of attack, so like removing a strike does not feel super great here. I think we gotta hope for just a really good... Do I actually want to go this way? I do have a higher chance of finding chests in these rooms. Actually, yeah, I think we'll go this way, fight this elite instead. And second shop, I mean, I have four gold now. It's not really a big deal. We could find something decent at those events. Okay. Okay, that helps a lot. That helps a lot. I should have done that. No, that wouldn't have worked. Never mind. Um, I can double loop. That'll actually output quite a lot of damage. Do I zap here? It means we're taking two plus three plus three. We're probably taking at least eight more damage. It's an extra nine damage over three turns. I'm already getting. What is that? That's like six times three. I'm already getting 18, so that's 27. Hold up, let's think about this. Brings him down to 33. What are the chances I can do 33 more damage in three turns? That includes this turn, so that's... So 33 da more damage in two turns, really. It's like streamline, strike, strike. That's 27 right there. It's actually not super low. I think we go for it. Oh, right, shit, no, this is, uh, I miscalculated. It's not 12 damage, it's 18 damage per turn. So we're actually killing him even faster. Um, hold up. That would get me 32 damage to dual cast that. Double block just makes him extra angry. Fuck, man. This deck has, like, five attacks. This deck has four attacks in it. Oof. Takes one, two, one, two, next turn. It takes 12 more damage. If I dual cast this, 16, takes nine. Well, more than that by the end of his turn. Let's see, if I don't do it, hold up, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. By the next time he hits us. So there's 18 damage, which would put him at 18. Three extra damage. He's hitting me for 28. If I make him do three extra damage, I die. Yeah, 
is doing 18 damage. If I draw a streamline, we just win. I think I have to play both of these. Oh, he gains more strength now! Oh no! Oh no! That didn't actually help me at all. Uh... That didn't actually- oh, oh, all my calculations are wrong. Oh my- he gained 5 damage. And we gained 5 block. So I guess I just end the goddamn turn. Because no matter what, we're gonna be at 3. So we take- okay, here we go. I should have, uh... Probably genetic algorithm first. What do we got? Fuck! Interdimensional oof. Yeah. I mean, we healed a bit, so that's fun. Seven. What is that? 21? Fuck. That plus that is 20. Can I take one damage? Eight. That's only 18. Shit. Yeah, so I think I do this. Okie dokie, alright, okay. Um. Shit. Uh, fuck. Damn it! Had I played this, had I played this last time, this would be enough. I could streamline genetic algorithm. Yeah, it turns out Echo Form isn't really that good when you don't have good cards. Uh, what were my other options? It was like machine learning? What was the third? What was the other one? I think I... S okay, Streamline kills any one of them, so it doesn't... Oh, actually if I Streamline, dual cast. I don't get to cast genetic algorithm that way. Uh, it's too early for a stack. We might literally be unable to win without hyper beam. Like I, we like we ha don't have frost yet. Nope. Nope. Makes loop kind of bad. Yeah. Yeah, let's get that hyper beam. Pen nib. Oh, pen nib on hyper beam. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Fuck. Now I almost kind of wish I hadn't taken that hyper beam. Rip. I guess if you have core surge, you can use hyper beam. Oh, wow, they all have 39. Uh, shit, they're putting three dazes in my deck now, aren't they? Yeah. Can I, uh. Get this one. Just, uh, just blast these assholes. See you later, bitches. Still no genetic algorithm. Oh, a juicy bracelet and a tiny chest. Very nice. Uh, well, we know we're not fighting Gremlin Knob, so I think I can take a leap. Oh wait, never mind. That was that was the elite fight. I have a hyper beam. I have a hyper beam. Draw it, draw it, draw it, fuck. Just... Okay, that actually blocks. Wait, how did I block 18? How did I get 18 block? Oh, one of those was a defend plus. Okay. Some damage I don't really need to take. It's like hit whoever the fuck, it doesn't matter. Hyper Beam just kills him. That better not be the bottom card of the deck. This 
pretty good. It's pretty good that that's what happened. Uh, the streamline is not enough to kill any of them. All I needed, all I needed was a hyper beam. Could have used that earlier. I've seen stack three times. Oh. Well, this is gonna be rough. This is gonna be rough. We've no, it's like no frost, no nothing. Uh, loop is kind of trash here. Now all of a sudden I need block cards. Fuck. Just take fourteen. Just take fourteen. Dual cast at least deals ten damage. Which means we have lethal. He just pummeled off like all the HP I just napped up. Cold snap is fucking trash with hyper beam. Do we just hold on to hyper beam and wait till there's no? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Okay, we might remove hyper beam from the deck in Act Two. Because we actually have some decent damage now, I just thought we might actually legit need it to survive. And it's caused more problems than it solved, thanks to that one fight against the three fucking mushrooms. I was literally playing as if, you know, it was gonna be Hyper Beam next turn. It's like, well, it's Hyper Beam, Hyper Beam, Hyper Beam, Hyper Beam. There's no Hyper Beam. Oh my god. I don't think I can refuse this. It's pretty good. Just dual cast that now. Oh shit! Oh fuck! I'm an idiot. I'm such a fucking idiot. Oh. Fuck me. God damn it. I fucked this all up. Alright, well, uh, we need to start just, like, beating the piss out of dudes. Just, like, really wailing on them. Sure. Yeah, the Darkness Orb. I mean, it'll gain, like, three damage, or whatever. The Zap has become... useless. Cocked up this whole fight. Just zap for funsies. Yeah. Loop is basically a slime. Oh, I've ruined this run. I've ruined it all. Devastation. Well, that was all me. That was my fault. I fucked it. Fucked it real bad. On to the red boy. Do we have a shot that's just slightly later? No. Like after the first three fights? No. Eh. Could be really good. We have other ways. Ironclad is like the most ways to gain max HP. Thanks for the host, Twitch Blue Cat. Random common relic. Could be like, okay, let's look at the paths. So we're going here, fireman, fireman. Either man or fire. Okay, that's a pretty good path actually. Um, yeah, whether it's a shop or an event, doesn't really make much difference. That's Man, fireman, fi- Ooh! Okay. That's... Oh wait, hold up. No, this is two fires, two dudes. And this is either three fires, two dudes, or two fires, three dudes. 
this is two fires, three dudes. No take backsies. I like this way better. Because then I can choose how many dudes or fires. I think if we're going to go for three dudes, we probably want to just have a, the best shop we can manage, so... Mm-hmm. And just, like, brick on turn one. I'm just gonna take six and start mashing. Cause I gotta... Or he's gonna get out of control. Okay, eleven... That sucks. Probably could've... Probably didn't need to bash. I probably could've done... Strike. And a defend. Alright, what do you got for me? Kunai seems pretty good. There are definitely some things we can do with a Kunai. Fuck. Havoc makes it easier to Kunai as well, in case you peel a, uh, an attack off the top. Neat. This sucks. Eight damage. Uh, just turn no biggie, no biggie. Fuck, are you joking? You're hitting me again. Hold up, this little idiot can die. Nice. Alright, well, this is pretty easy. Oof, I'm already down to 41. That's... Shit. Should I have just triple blocked here? Probably. Oh, wait, I've got extra... Extra defenses. Never mind. We're fine. We're cool. Bop. I did want that armaments. No attacks, turn one. Interesting. Is there much point to upgrading Bash? They are about to make me weak, so probably? No. Not really. No. Upgrade Havoc. Then Bash. Then Havoc. Sick. Cool. Still dead, bitch. I can do... Oh shit, he gains 12 block. Uh, I could have gained an extra block. Wow, I'm I'm playing this so poorly. Like maximum poor play. Hmm. Getting these havocs upgraded, I think. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have taken two havocs. Because Gremlin Knob. Those are skills, aren't they? Maybe we should have removed a strike? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So we're looking for Feel No Pains, we're looking for Charon's Ashes. Okay, that's the big boy. Drink this now. Perfect. <sighs> Bash would have been a bit better. Okay, so he hasn't become crazy yet. They're just true grit. Well, hold up. What are the chances of us killing him next turn? Or. True Grit blocks 8, so he's about to make me vulnerable, so that's 1, so it takes 3 attacks for it to do more damage than I'd gain. So like this is 27 damage, so I'm down to 35. Then Havoc would have to peel something else, but Havoc also makes me stronger. Then um, 
Not sure it actually does. I think we actually just let him hit us. Okay, so what I do is I put three strikes in the discard, so that way when Havoc reshuffles, there's a higher chance of hitting another attack. Splendid. Well, that counts as playing two skills, so, uh, fuck me. Well, we got to use our whole potion, basically, so... Hooray. Yeah, that was a lot worse than it could have been. We're probably going for more... For exhaustion synergies, considering how our deck already is. So I think we pick up a corruption. Yep. Actually, I guess it was that or anger. That's fine. Okay, I got this as well. We did lower our max HP, so. Corruption might be a little rough in our hand for a while. Yikes. Eleven. We are taking a beating. Okay. Should have them next turn. There's the upgraded ones. Interesting. Mm, now we got two more fires. Lagavulin, that's fine. I can probably actually get Corruption up against Lagavulin. And then I guess... Yeah. Well, I guess we wake him up now. Oh shit, I guess the Havocs get rid of themselves, don't they? So does the Armaments. Fuck. God damn it. Well, that turn fucking sucks. Um, okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, that didn't go super great. Kinda don't want to true grit and get rid of... Well, he's at third... No, 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 no. Hold up, do I have that? Because that'll deal 12 damage. I can upgrade that. 24. I can upgrade this. Yeah, that would be better. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay. So I deal 13 plus 12 plus 12. Shit, that's not enough. That's still my best play. Mm, that's lethal if I don't drink this. I would love to lift, but I think I need to nap. 
Okay, what you got? Probably shouldn't have gone for this build before seeing Dead Branch, since that's something we have way less control over, whether or not we see. Like, Dead Branch makes this build, like, we just take off into the fucking sky. Please be corrupted. Fuck. That would have been good. Um, okay. There's really only one way this can go down. Probably just going after the guy at the back then. Mm, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna corruption. <sighs> I haven't gotten much use out of Kuna yet. I mean, it's blocked a little bit of damage. Probably still single digits, though. Which is not great. I think we're gonna take a disarm over another Havoc. Three Havocs is a bit much. Okay, what's this last fight got in store for us? Okay. That's... sure. Okay, not, neither of them are making me weak. So I'll take four damage. Hold up, armaments block block. Okay, I actually already. Oh shit, no, I'm striking, aren't I? Yeah, so I want to do this. There we go. Oh, right, they're only doing 10 damage. I actually didn't. No, I could have just upgraded the strike there. So that just kills him. Yeah, getting a fourth energy will be really big. Do I play a second anger? I was thinking about upgrading that corruption, but... Um, do I actually want to disarm here? I have a fire potion, so probably not. Sucks that I have to leave that much. Uh, energy just sitting there, but... Okay, that was the upgraded one. Not the best, not the worst. Corruption now? Probably. Okay. Probably gonna disarm this front man. Um, or do we arm him at something first? Let's arm him at the disarm. Yeah, this deck needs more card draw. If we had a top, if we had a top, this deck could probably do really well. Ooh, okay. Well, I wonder what I'm true gritting. There goes my deck. There goes my deck. I'm gonna get rid of all my skills so that, like, this extra... Oh my god. I have two defense left in the deck and a whole sh... You know what? This plan actually works really bad against dudes that put crap in your deck. I've just realized. It's just occurred to me. Where oh where does the bash go? Backman, please. Thank you, God. What was strange? Fucking one. Mummified hand. The slime, that one slime became zero because of Mummified Hand. 
because the others were already zero because of corruption, which means Mummified Hands had to hit the slime. Yes. Okay, thank god. I was like, please give me enough attacks to at least just, like, deal with these guys. See, like, this slime is one. There's my only two defends in the deck. I have one hit point. This smells like the run. Do you smell like that? Do you smell that? That's... That's that's the run. A GG. Slime to me. The gray man got us. That's fine. Mosing on over to the silent. Another try. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. This could prevent a lot of damage. Let's look at our paths. Man, fire, man. Fire, man, fire. Third, okay. I have to fight a third boy going that way. This way's only got one dude. I don't think I can do just one dude. Can I do two dudes? Yes, but not in a way I like. I could do one dude. Nah. Nah. Yeah, having an upgrade, having a neutralize already upgraded for here. It's pretty big. I guess we'll go look at a shop. Go take a peek. What's inside? Or I guess what's on top of the rug? Because that is the shop. It's just like in a fucking room. Among many of the rooms in the spire, or I guess it's a floor. Oh, you frailed me. That's, that's fucking adorable. How about you die? I think I take a sucker punch here. What you got? Rip ice cream, what the fuck? Huh. Huh. I think well laid plans is a safer card to take here. It's like dodge and roll is good, but gremlin knob. Yeah. Well laid plans is. I guess it's bad against the awakened one, but it's not bad anywhere else. Um, I can apply the weak to you, since you're probably attacking next turn, since I can just do this to block. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah, and I guess I get extra cards sometimes. That kind of matters. Um, hmm. Oh, shit. I am a fool. I am a fool. Okay, three damage. Not terrible. Not great, but not terrible. Ooh, snake oil. Oof! Oof! You're making me choose. Fuck, we could have had a dodge and roll and the fucking cloak and dagger. But Gremlin Knob! Oh, Gremlin Knob would fucking tear us to pieces. Like I don't need Noxus Fumes yet. Probably bad here. It's not good against the boss we're fighting. I did the right move. If this were if this were Hexaghost, I might consider it. It's Gremlin Knob. It's just fucking Gremlin Knob. He just if Gremlin Knob weren't in this game, this game would be way easier. Because there's so many cards that I could just just take. Just boom, boom, boom. Don't have to don't have to worry about no fucking knob. But here it's like uh, it's like I have to worry about knob. This just is not very good in any fight in this act. Just period. How true is that? Um, especially once you upgrade it. It'll probably get you like... Well, let's see. If you play it turn one, it doesn't deal damage until turn two. It does three damage. It goes down to two. 
That's like eight damage. By turn four. Oh, no, that's, that's bad. That's if it's upgraded. It does. It does. Yeah. It's the worst against Slime Tony. It's honestly pretty good against Guardian. Because, like, it keeps ticking up. So, like, as his number for flipping ticks up, so does the poison. So it's just like, nah, man. Get fucked. And against Hexagos, it's great. It's great. Maybe we take one Cloak and Dagger? That's the wrong button. We did take a Sucker Punch. We have well laid plans. Poison Stab is pretty good damage, though. I'm gonna take the Stab. Ooh, I'm gonna say no. Ah, I probably should have said yes. This early in the run before we know what we're gonna have to deal with. It's like, if I'm already low health and shit like that, then probably not, but it's like, no, this is the time where we can actually potentially afford... Oh shit, I'm an idiot. I have well-laid plans, don't I? Whoops, shoulda just kept the survivor. Well, that's rough. Yep. Yep, shoulda just kept the survivor. Fuck. This man don't quit. Mm, I may have wanted to keep one of those defends. Nah, it's fine. Cool. We took what, two damage? See, the problem comes when it's like, I start grabbing, you know, offensive shit, and then I just don't get any defensive shit after we're done with Gremlin Knob, and I'm just like, hey. Predator. Predator. That's a lot of cards. It is not super good right now, but it could be very good. It's like discard synergy, likes having a lot of cards. Uh, after image and thousand cuts, likes having a lot of cards. Shiv, or not Shiv. Kunai and Shuriken like having a lot of cards. I'm gonna take the Predator. I was considering flying the end, I was like, these would go really good together. Which means I should probably wait until... If I'm gonna take one of them, I should take the higher rarity one. If the plan is to eventually get both of them. Yeah. That's true. If we're gonna block, it's probably gonna be with this. But it may be a little early for that. No, I'm pretty sure we're gonna take. We're just gonna take six. Maybe I should have kept a fucking strike. Oh yeah, drew two extra cards. Hey, there's a lot of damage coming up. It's like it's like 21 damage. So try to get him down to 21. Well, no, because this is still worthwhile for three attacks. Hold on, no, take the strike. Wait, oh shit, no, I was- fuck, I was picking what I was discarding. Oh, no. No. No, so close. Strong bad. Um, hold up. Twenty-two. Shit, it'll confuse me though. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Okay, we gotta hope. Yes. Got it. Ooh! Wish I'd had that earlier. Not as good, considering the boot exists. 
If we get the boot, like, this upgrade basically doesn't do anything. Shit. Just took a predator. These are all uncommon. Damn it! Should have taken flying knee. Zero cost, 16 damage. Increase this card's cost by one. Oh, this card costs two energy. That's like... It does do 20 damage. No. This card does 20 damage and draws us two cards. You know what? I have not tried Masterful Stab at all since they reworked it. I think we have to nap here to do two elites. Yeah. Whoops. Got a steroid potion. I guess the steroid potion works with riddled with holes. Mm. No, that doesn't make any sense. That's also 15 damage. This one draws me two cards next turn. Just take ten. Because I would really want him to be dead. Yep, that's. Um, if I steroid potion, it's an extra ten damage. It's twenty-two. Is it worth eight health? I think it might be. There's a chance. Hmm. Upgrade rest. Is there any chance we're not resting here? Hmm. And again, if we take too much damage, this could actually just kill us. Okay. There'll be more potions. Shit. Masterful Stab's about to cost two. That's cool. That's cool. Gross. At two, it's like, no, you're fucking upgraded, man, and you do one more damage than Predator, and don't give me the card draw, like, get out of here. Well, this, his hand sure sucks for blocking. Yeah. I was worried that something like this might happen, and it's like, well, I might take another ten damage at some point. So I'm glad there's not another eight in there. Yeesh. Alright, well, you're dead. Hmm. Okie dokie. Oh god, my nose. Oh, and it just... Woo! I fixed it. I'm just holding it on. We're, we're survivors. The card's surviving. You get fucked by three cost masterful stab. Ooh! That's a good one. Damn. Uh, we're gonna slime Tony, right? Yeah, I'm taking Dagger Spray. And a pen nib. Oh fuck, it's Knob again. Uh... Yeah. Well, our deck's slightly better than last time. I think. Probably. Yeah, for sure. Okay, okay, okay. Settle down, big guy. Do I play a card? Shit, hold up. If I... Nope, that only gets me 13 block. Which means he's definitely... Hitting us. Which means Masterful Stab goes up to 1. Fuck. 
Uh Okay. Okay, so this gets me four attacks. Probably kill him in four attacks. Or what if he vulnerables me next turn? That's one, two. No, still four attacks. So I have to kill him before his fourth. So this turn. Two, three, four. So three more turns. 55 damage. Pretty sure I can manage that. So I'm just gonna play that. Masterful stab at one is still reasonable. Of course. Course, 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 of course, course, this is how it's gonna work. This is how it's gonna work. I don't think I wanna defend. I think I wanna wail on the man. Fuck. It's going down to nine. I get to hold on to a card. I literally just need to draw any other attack in the deck, and we're good. So block here. I don't think I have lethal. Pretty sure I did not have lethal. Oh! The nib! The nib! The nib! Alright, well, we're done with elites. So I'm gonna take Noxious Fumes. <laughs> Oh! Oh! Masterful Stab! That's a good one! That's a good one to have opening hands, since I am- it's guaranteed to cause zero. Yeah, let's get a, a whole lot of napping in. What do you got for me? No? Second Noxus Fumes? Oh man, that dash is upgraded. Oh yeah! Nox fumes, dash. Yeah, looks good. Looks good. I do need block, yes. This does say 13 block on it. That's a pretty good one. I mean, it's gonna be a little rough since we do have, like, the molten egg. Ooh, oh, 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 I'm glad we went there instead of the fight. I don't think we need to nap again. Uh, do I start upgrading fumes now? All of our other attacks are going to be upgraded, so upgrading these three feels like it's probably not necessary. So yeah, I think we start upgrading the fumes. What you got, bitch? What you got, bitch? Fucking nothing is what you got. 38 damage turn one. Not bad. Um, let's make sure I don't accidentally fuck this. Okay, so he's gonna take three. It's gonna go down to 109. It's 13 damage, it's also 13 damage. Okay, so we're still fine. I have well laid plant, no I don't. So we got 21, he takes seven. So I've got 14 damage. Oh fuck. Uh, oh shit, that's only 12. That's only 12. Welp! That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. That brings me down to 90, that brings me down to 84. Minus 7 brings me down to 77. Then he takes another 11. 38. Leaves me at 12 health. I think I, I think I prefer 17 health. Phil Swift, please save us. Yeah, he's going down no matter what. Okay, 45 is a pretty good split though. Because now he splits at what? 23? Mmm. Yeah, fuck that. Split this bad boy right now. So, like, he's dead.
Tanker Spray will be pretty cool pretty soon. Oh, fuck, he just died. Okay, that makes this way easier. Uh, he's legit going to split just from that. So I think I just hit him a bunch. Oh, and then he's just dead. And then he's just dead, and then he just died. Turns out Noxus Fumes, uh, if you've got, if you've got five poison a turn, actually works decently. Unload seems pretty good. Unload seems better than Masterful Stab. And it seems like the best card here. God. If there was a way to, like... If I if I could think of a way to consistently make this work. I guess if you... If you've got... I guess if your deck is, like, seven cards, then you can do this. That only works turn one, though. I guess if your deck is five cards, it works every turn. Would be pretty gross. This is anti synergistic with well laid plans. Huh. Yeah, we discard our non attacks and then. Then I have nothing left to hold unless I had just more attacks. Oh, we could play our non attacks. Mm, fuck. That's rough, because then it incentivizes us to want to pick a bit more skill-heavy to make up for the fact that we're always going to be retaining an attack with well-laid plans. But the fact that we have Molten Egg means we want, want to be more attack-heavy. I mean, it depends. If we can get more attacks like Dash and shit like that. I think I'm going to take it just because it's like really, really high front-loaded damage. Ooh, Eternal Feather and Regal Pillow. Unlove would go against... Yeah. I still think I'd take it, because 18 damage for one energy is really, really good. And, like, it prevents a bunch of damage by just ending fights quicker. I think the only one we can take here is the feather. Let's just upgrade more stuff. So rest stops are pretty advantageous to us because we can, like, if we if we go down to one because we're healing nineteen. That's nineteen plus fifteen. That's like thirty-four. Um, we'll probably have twenty-five cards by then. Thirty-four plus fifteen. We like. F we can heal like 49 HP entering a rest site. Which is pretty obscene. Considering we only have 66 HP. So, if we go down to 17, we can still hit full. How do I feel against elites? It really depends on our draw. Like, if we get Masterful Stab and unload... Like, that's 34 damage. That just, like, kills. That just, like, kills Red Slaver. I think. Pretty close to it. And, like, this will cost zero, so, like, we have two more energy, so, yeah. Like, any other attack, and Red Slaver just dies. Killing Red Slaver on turn one makes that fight way easier. Because he's the one that puts Vulnerable on you. Which means you're never gonna get hit for more than, like... Like, maybe 21 damage max? I think the front guy sometimes- no, front guy sometimes hits for like 13. It's like 20. And it's like we got weak, it's like we can- we can manage that. Stab hand. I think we can handle stab hand. And it's like, even- even if we can't handle him that well, it's like we're gonna- we're gonna heal. We're gonna heal. So we can take some hits. I think it's Gremlin Leader that's the one I'm most worried about. So I keep killing his fucking dudes and let Noxious Fumes work its magic? Maybe. Maybe. I think we we might actually have a decent deck here for Act 2 Elites. Man, Fire, Man, Fire, Fire, Fire? Man, Man, Fire? No, that's bad. 
That is three dudes. There's three dudes with no fires in between. I don't like that. I don't trust like that. Three fires means like we have no health issues. Like we probably won't need to nap at all. Well, that's not true. We might need to nap here or something. But uh, it's, it's four fires in the act. So like, what would we upgrade with four? It's like one. We probably want to start upgrading our defensive stuff. Whoops. I don't know. See, well laid plan still works on every turn where we don't have unload in our deck too. And as our deck gets bigger, you know, we're gonna see it less and less. The footwork would be fantastic. Oh, this is this is rough deciding the path here because we're actually slightly more incentivized to want fights because of the fact that we have a molten egg. So seeing cards is good. However, I don't know if I can take five fights and then an elite without a bonfire. That might be a bit rough. This way we get to see... This will probably be at least two fights, maybe three. This way we get to see a shop as well, which is handy. Well, that's rough. Um, hold up. He's taking three damage. Fuck. Yeah, this prevents 11 damage. That's definitely worth it. Okay, a little rough, a little rough. Um, yikes. Hold up. 15 plus 18 is 33. 41 minus 7. Fuck, it's 37. I think I just triple block here. Let the poison do its thing. And he's blocking now, which means I can just start. Um, he takes 11 damage. Hold up. If I can do this without using pen nib, I'd rather do that. He goes down to 16. Shit. One below lethal. Damn it. There. Just play as many attacks to try and get the pen nib up. Oh, piercing wheel seems good. Piercing wheel seems good here. I think I'm gonna take that. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Regular strike. Seems reasonable. Okay, what do we got, big boy? Mmm, it does enough damage to break his block and do damage to lower his plated armor. I like that. And then poison don't give a fuck about armor. Okay, yeah, this is getting kind of rough. This is getting kind of rough. Holy fuck. I need some cards that say block on them. Like, real, real, real bad. Real bad. Oh. Forgot I had bronze scales. Well, it's not block, but it's something. Can I really take 14 damage? 6 damage to all enemies twice. Do I just go 8 shit? Oh. Thanks, ornamental fan! Uh, okay, that's... Ah, pen nib. I was like, the fuck? Okay, good. This is dead. Nope, 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 nope. I need stuff that blocks. At this point, I need stuff that blocks. I'll see more upgraded attacks later. Nope, I have 15 health. Good block. Why? 
Why is it only once in a blue moon? Why- why is it that if I'm looking for something incredibly specific... I'll see a shop that fucking has it, but if I'm looking for something super common and vague, it's just like, nah, man. We just don't have block- we just don't have block in the store. There's just no block here. Nothing in this fucking store says block on it. Except for Essence of Steel. Even that doesn't literally say block, it's just four play derm. I think the skill potion has a higher chance of giving me more block than Essence of Steel. Oof. Move a strike. Merchant is out to kill us. He's out to challenge us. To test us. To test our patience. Okay. Fuck. I was like, if we see unload... Oh, never mind. He has way more health than I thought. Uh, okay, I'm gonna drink these now. Ooh. Nope. I was like, well, late plans right now could be good, but it's like, no, I need... I need these guys to die. Hold up, I need to do this. Yeah, that's a cloak and a dagger. Fuck, how much damage is this? That's 27. Uh, that's 34 damage. I'm sitting at 21 block. I can go up to... Th or 21 total. I can go up to 31. Or, hold up. 9, 10, 17, 24. Fuck. We just lost the run. No, that doesn't help. Well... Wait, what did I say I needed? I needed 34, and I could get to 31? Which means I could get to 35 with Ornamental Fan. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Oh boy. Fuck. Holy shit. I think I have to scream. Okay, I'm not gonna- I'm not- I'm not even gonna fucking touch the mouse until I figure out how to survive this turn. Um, because I really don't want to fuck it up. So that just kills him. So that's nine- okay, so that's effectively like 21 block. So that kills him, blocks him, so then I just need to deal block seven? If I neutralize him, he's at 13, so it rounds up. So his damage goes down by four, so it becomes nine and seven, which is 16. So then I defend, I don't get the Noxious Fumes. Yeah. I could Piercing Whale, but I don't need to. So I don't see a reason why I should. Oh boy. Oh boy. Bronze scales and fucking thousand cuts are doing God's work. Okay. Can I kill him? 12? That's 30 damage right there. Oh, it's actually better than that because of this. Oh boy. Oh fucking boy. Yeah, it knocks it down by two, right? A predator just kills him! Holy fuck. I think I have to take Deflect. It's like, I need block cards. I have well-laid plans, so it's not as bad. Remember that thing I said about uh, we can gain like 49 HP? Oh shit, that, uh, it's less than that because I don't actually have 20, wait. What do you mean I still have 23? Oh, fuck. I removed two strikes. Aw. Rip. The strikes actually cost us 3 HP. Um, so now it's like, that's like 46 or something. Yeah, we're not going through that elite fight with fucking 13 health. Ah. <sighs> 
Ha. Ha. Ooh. Um. Hmm. Wow, they're all attacking. I might scream. Scream seems good. Um. What else? Do I need to scream? Hold up. That. That kills this idiot. Can I get 21 more damage out? No. Yeah, it doesn't work. Screaming time! Do I just pray for Dagger Spray to come up and just like kill both of them? Oh fuck, he's doing one damage now. Get out of here. Fucking baby. If I hit him... Oh, let's do it. Oh shit, oh, I could have hit him. An ornamental fans. Okay, so Bronze Scales is gonna get some work done. He's resummoning dudes. Um, this is not great. I want to keep him weak for next turn. I'm not afraid of this guy. Ascender's Bane is still in the deck now, so that's a plus. Oh, did I say plus? Did I say plus? I meant big minus. Um, Noxus Fumes really starts railing on this guy. It's only five damage. The block is annoying. I think I want to keep the strike. I don't need the potion. Oh shit, I didn't even see- Oh my god. I don't know why I didn't see that. I didn't even see that he was hitting me for 12. Fuck. God, I'm an idiot. Okay, so I need to hit you for three. Now he's not hitting me at all. Um, hold up, let's do that. So you have one health left. So I guess I just do that. Damn it. I am a fool. Should I have kept deflect? Maybe. Buff nobody but yourself. Good, 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 good. Ooh. Yeah, that's better. Okay, yeah, the poison's starting to really rack up on him. I think I just go all in on the big man? Maybe. 15, 30, 34, 40. 40 damage? I don't need to do that much. He's already taking 5, geez. Okay, cause he'll, he'll just be dead next turn. Taking 19. So 36 minus 19. It's like 17 damage. So if I do this. Yeah, it turns out he's just dead. Alright. I could have played that ooh a little bit better, but. Yeah, I'll take an upgraded piercing whale after the, the regular one. Art of war. Boom. Upgrade the other noxious fumes. Okay, three birds. Well, not not the flappy birds, but you know, you know what I mean. The cultists. Who's got least health? You. Cool. Okay, I got pen nib set up. That's good. So he's just dead, or wherever I want. You know what, I should have struck, and then set up pen nib for next turn, and then saved the pen nib. Because that would have done 24 damage to everybody. Yeah, that would have been better. 26 damage is a bit overkill on this guy. Just a bit. 30 damage. This one gives me block. I'm gonna just knife this guy. Oh shit, he's not actually dead. Uh, whoops. I might want. There's not a lot of attacks coming up. 
Oh, never mind. Oh, right, we're right. Bronze scales. Bronze scales! Okay, this is not bad at all. It's actually not great either, <laughs> now that I'm actually looking at it, because I can't kill this guy. Hmm. Okay, actually Noxious Fiend's here. Cause that guarantees he dies. Oh, I guess he was already- I keep forgetting about- Scales! The scales! Mm. Um, do I block this? 18, I can deal 24 damage. That's not lethal. Or a Chalcum. This is exactly what we do. Yeah. Oh, fuck. No! I fucked it up. Damn it. I was like, yeah, or a Chalcum, because then we get more blocked by not blocking. And then Ornamental Fan proc, and I was like, frack. Frack. Wait, wasn't I at 36 last turn? I couldn't have only taken two damage. I must have been higher than that. Regen Potion. Deadly Poison's not bad. Double Noxious Fumes. No, I need, I need more defensive options. Step on the floor! Upgrade the other Piercing Whale? I don't think it's as necessary. I think upgrading the Sucker Punch. An extra turn of week would be really nice. 46? Gotcha. Okay, this should be fine. Why are you about to be hurt? Oh shit. Oof. Oof. Maximum oof. Damn it. Keep forgetting about that pen nib. Twelve damage. Uh Fine, we've got both the Noxious Fumes up. And that is a thing that keeps happening. Yeah, he's just he's just done. He's just done. Easy pizzeezy. Get out of here. Do I need card draw? Not really. I think we're gonna take the dash. Ooh, find some potions! Hey, nice. Hey, potion belt! I think that's the first time. I think that's the first time potion belt has actually been worth having. And that should get us pretty close to full. <sighs> Upgrade survivor. Yeah, honestly, that, um... That unload has been, like, only good for us. Like, it hasn't... Hasn't been a problem at all. It's been really good. I've been glad. It's not a great turn. Yeah, it's not a great turn. I think now is when I scream. Nice. Did I play well laid plans? No. Noxious Fumes would be really good. Fuck. Can't do that. Hold up. I can get 12. 
18, and that'll double because of Pendib. It's 36 plus 18. It's like 54, and kill one of them. Get four block out of it. Take a bunch. He's not dashing though. Dash prevents more damage than kill. Well, does it? Yeah, it does. It does. Doesn't prevent that, and he gets through with one. Whereas doing this, he gets through with three, and he still hits me for full. But then it makes him dead. And that probably prevents more damage in the long run. Or do I want to double this? Hold up. What if I do 18, 24, and this becomes 24? That's 48, which is still lethal, and it hits the other two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay. He's about to be a big wiener. But I'm gonna make him weak next turn, so that's a plus. I'm gonna be what? Frail, vulnerable, and weakened? Yep. That's fine. Oh, he's not even hitting me, so... Oh, hey! This is the stuff we wanted. Nice. Mm, I think I just do that. He's still not hitting me. What a big wiener beaner. So I'm gonna do one of these and one of those. I think I'm gonna keep the dash. Yeah, these guys just come out and do more damage. Oh, fuck. Stupid Masterful Stab. Can I pen nib this Dagger Spray? Not this turn, but I can hold it. Um, may as well deflect. Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch Dash. Hold up. Sucker Punch Dash gets us up to 8. Which means I need to play one other attack before Dagger Spray. He's gonna take six. Then he's gonna take another. eleven? Okay, so I don't even need to hit him anymore for. uh, pendant one of these to kill him. Okay, okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait, no, no, the poison kills him. Right, 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 right. I was worried for a moment. Um, yeah, I think we survivor here. Take ten. I think I'm gonna drink this. Because he is starting to get, like, really, really... Uh, maybe I shouldn't have... could matter. Yeah, like another source of weak would be good. Hold on to the unload. Yeah, actually. And then he takes 26, and then he takes 31. Mm, this is not a good turn. This is a bad turn. Um, should be fine, honestly. Get a bit of extra block, and then he takes 34. Yeah, he's just toast. Probably didn't need to use that potion, but... You know, you live and learn. Just, like, play a bunch of cards for fun. Overkill him by 37. It's no biggie. And then he's dead, and then he died. And then you get to look at the chair briefly. Stare at the door. Mm -hmm. We have to worry about Awakened Man. We have three powers already. I think Thousand Cuts 
is probably too good in a lot of other fights. It's good against Giant Head. It's pretty good against Orb Walkers. Um, it's fine against Nemesis. It's good in floor fights. It's pretty good against not Woke Boy. It's good against Time Man, Storms McKenzie, Dono and Decca. I think I take it. Ooh. Interesting. I don't know that I like it. I mean, we have like one more chest, so I think Curse Key's pretty good here. I can probably skip it. It's Woke Boy, that's fine. So we need to upgrade this bad boy, because it gets twice as good. Which is pretty good. That's fine, we should be fine against Woke Boy. Um, how late is the shop? There. There. <laughs> That's the latest shop. Hmm. Okay. I can dig it. Uh, fireman fire. Fireman fire. Seems reasonable. Excuse me. Okay, we got orbs. We got jorbs. Damn it. I'll fuck that one up. Or did I? Mm, I think I take one damage to make sure he doesn't put dazes in our deck. Oh yeah, Noxus Fumes will just... Oh, that's- that's a hand. That's a hand of cards. Oh, hey, I get Art of War. Sick. Just, like, kill him, please. No, he hits for nine. I'm just gonna leave this. I meant his, uh, his spikes. So I'd need at least 18 block. A thousand cuts does something. And dash. Cool. End the fight a little bit faster. Might actually want this defend. Just in case he's hitting me or something. Look at that! Look at that! Well, then he's just all the way dead. Nice. Up, 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 um, we are against Time Boy. Our defenses aren't great. Not gonna lie. I think we can get through the first. I think our deck is good enough. Thanks to that Molten Egg. We take the footwork. Play no powers during the first half. Um, bop, mm, bop, mm, bop, mm, bop. Oh right, I don't have a uh, well-laid plans. I was like, then I'm gonna keep the piercing whale in case they all go ape shit. Turns out, didn't go ape shit. Uh, that is still 24. That's that's more than I can block for. Uh, hmm. I just drink this. That becomes. Oh, that's exactly 24. Yeah. Yeah, drink that. And then play Noxious Fumes, I guess, because it helps get them all closer to dying at the same time. Oh, now they've gone ape shit. Um. That's good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That helps a bit. If this guy were to die, that would be super cool. 7, 14, 20. That leaves 18 damage left over. Can I maybe kill him? Is there a way to get 36 damage out of a single attack? 
I don't think so, so I don't think we drink this potion. That sucks. Maybe if it was Fletchets, actually. Shit. I forgot about Fletchets. Alright, this is gonna hurt, but um, we've got like a feather and a pillow and all that jazz. Hey there, Kodets, how's it going? Have you become a mouse? Is that... Damn it, there's piercing man. Where the fuck is well laid plans? I need some card draw. In this bad boy. Oh hey, look at that. Yeah, I guess we just won the fight. Thank you, thank you. Does get rid of itself. It's good when you're dealing with the birds at the start of the Wolf Boy fight. But right now, dashes are like our best block. And we have Pen Nib. They increment Pen Nib. I, I think I take one backstab before a third dash. Nope. Well, shit. Another backstab? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that can help. Well, okay, what does it actually help with? Because we're not- or the plan is to not play Noxious Fumes. During the first half of Woke Boy's whole thing. So, Catalyst doesn't do much for that whole fight. I don't think I want, like, five cards that literally don't do anything for the first half of that fight. And the second half, like, if we make it to the second half, we'll probably be fine. Where does this help? Probably helps in Double Orb Walker. Definitely helps against Big Head. This card kicks the shit out of Big Head. I mean, this isn't that bad. I'm doing fire, fight, fire, and then another fire, and then maybe not even another fight. So, I don't think I have to worry that much about elites. You can take backstab, fire potion, remove a strike. Good, 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 good. Are you fucking joking? This isn't even the actual treasure box. Oh, it's a fucking rare, too. Well, no. Nope. 53 should be fine. I actually want to upgrade... Uh, no, I'll upgrade footwork first. Our damage is actually decent. Mm, maybe not for this fight. Uh, no, we should be fine. Woof. Do I drink the strength pot? That's 30, that's 46. Uh, pen nib's nowhere near. 46. 59. 74 damage. 74, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, becomes 84 damage. I just could just kill one of these assholes. If I do this, then this. Actually, the fire potion is probably better than the strength potion. Because 84. Oh, wait, no, that's 80. No, it was 74. That's 84 with the strength potion. If I play the attack potion, that gets me 6th attack, which gets me 8 block, which means I only take 3 damage right here. Oh, actually less than that. Actually way less than that. I don't even need to. Yeah, you know what? We drink this. We go completely fucking ham on the man at the back. It's a good potion belt. Well, what are you guys talking about now? Good how about you, not so far. Not a bad night. Mm-hmm. Uh, about 2.30 a.m. Yeah, what Live High said. I miss the dark, I miss the cold. Nine hour time difference. So it's like 11.30 for you? Um... um, 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 um. Oh, 
I was like, I'd really like to play Survivor and Dash. But I'd have to play another block card, and then I'm like... Dash gives me block. <coughs> now I have too many. Um, I guess I'll deal with the burn. Having breakfast? Delish. Did not get... Um, obviously play that. Three damage. Okay. I didn't get any of my fucking scaling damage out. This sucks. Oh, he's already weak. Well, I'm a fool. I'm a fool, I'm a fool, I'm a fool. I'm gonna scream at him. Oof. 11 damage, so 14. That's a little rough. Good news is, you're dead. You're dead. Orb Tony. Ooh. Fuck. That means I have to play Noxious Fumes for that to work in the final fight. Which I'm probably not gonna do. I'm not gonna grab these. That's one less health than I had when I started. I'm great thousand cuts. Prosit? Oh, gotcha. Well, thank you. Guess I could have gone that way. It doesn't really. Well, it's one more event. Instead of cheers. Oh shit, what have I done? Damn it! Ah, I was reading chat! Fuck. I fucked up. Ah, oh, piss. That actually matters. I don't think Centennial Puzzle was worth it. No, it's my fault. Um, we're taking like 28 damage right now. <sighs> Seven. Yeah, I think I take nine damage to try and get that out there. Yeah. Oof. Wow. God damn it. And I'm fucking... No, no, I'm not weak yet. Um, you know what? I'm gonna drink this. 18 damage? Hold up. Wait, he is, he is weak, right? I have no energy. Let's do, like, a bunch of fucking damage to him. Oh, fuck. Okay, so 18 plus 15 is 33. Shit. It's getting rough. Taking five damage. I need to deal ten damage. Boom. Ooh. Wow, fuck. I think I'm gonna nap. Let's go for one more elite fight. God, that normality is just gonna kick the shit out of me. I actually want to keep the backstab. <sighs> okay. Hmm, pen there, that's a good one. And yeah, Noxious Fumes helps a bit as well. 45 damage, and I just use my pen nib. damage, 16 block, that probably does it? Oh, plus, plus ornamental fan. Perfect! Oh, right, and then it takes an extra 8. Wow, this is not a great turn for footwork. 
Yikes. Well, Lord Chalcom gave us some block at least. That's something. I don't think I played a thousand cuts here. Wow, I get way, way more damage prevention. Haha, bitch. Gotcha. Oh shit, he oh god. I thought this was the last turn. Uh, that was bad. That was bad. I shouldn't have kept that. On the plus, hold up. What do I actually need to spend energy on? It's like sucker punch and defend, because strike is actually terrible here. A thousand cuts actually gets us more damage than strike does. Yeah, yeah, it definitely does. And then minus twenty-three. Well, not quite, because the weakness. Mass that weird. Okay, that wasn't too bad. A cloak and dagger? Yeah. <sighs> In before ginger? I got doubt. Not a great curse, considering we're trying to get through the first half of Woke Boy fight without using Noxious Fumes. Because if I play a power, it has to be footwork. Because footwork actually... Well, maybe I play both footworks. Because that actually puts me ahead of him most turns. But then, do I play the well-laid plans to make sure I have block? I don't know. I don't know. Alright, I think I, this time, instead of spreading it around, I think I need to go ham on one dude to make sure... Oh, fuck. Oh, that works. gonna say to make sure that they're not gonna do like a big fucking team up move okay two damage is fine turns out he came back in time to do a big fucking team up move um Oh wait, holy shit. God damn it, I didn't even pay attention to how uh, how little damage they were doing. Fuck me. That's gonna cause me to take way more damage, because they're gonna... Hot diggity fuck. Okay, well he's about to die. I want... The dash, because it's better damage and better block than Cloak and Dagger. Oh, hey! I guess the specimen works pretty well here, doesn't it? Yikes. Yikes. I'd have to deal 17 damage. Oh, hey, look at that. I'm out of drank. 17 damage, this gives me enough block for him, so get fucked. I did it. I'm a number one. I'm gonna go refill my thinger. This one. No, my headphones.
Okay, Dex Potion, that'll be good. Nah, that'll be good. Means we can probably play one less footwork until it's go time. Go backflip plus seems like a card I really want to take. It draws me shit and there's lots of fun and around out of words. Okay, okay. So if we draw reasonably well, uh, we should have this fight in the bag -o. And then I just like play. Oh, let's pay attention to Pen Nib here. Yeah. Yeah, bitches. Okay. And then I play three attacks, gives me four block. Perfect. Keep it weak. Start digging in with the poison. If I could get a thousand cuts, there you are. There you are, buddy. I guess this does do more damage by. Oh, actually, fuck, it doesn't because of the way this one doubles. Yeah. Do it like that. No well laid plans to keep it. Okay, so he's gonna start going nuts next turn. He has no debuffs that I can actually artifact, correct? I could artifact here, or I could actually artifact the doubt in the next fight, now that I think about it. Upgrading a cloak and dagger, that doesn't actually matter. I want to upgrade something defensive, of which is very little to upgrade. So we can probably just nap and be fine. Oh, he's- oh, I'm gonna get double weakened here, aren't I? I don't know how I feel about that. Still, I'm gonna save it for the, uh... Woof. 19 block is pretty good. Well, that's all the block I need right there. Damn it. Can't keep it with the uh, fucking well laid plans on the bottom of my deck. Or close enough to it. What am I spending my energy on? That for sure. Oh, that's not really energy. Hold up, so so what does that put him at? So that would be 48. So it'd be minus 12. So it puts him down to 33. That's 17. That puts me only 16 block away. There's no other block in my hand. So I just play Piercing Wheel. So there's one, two. We're on Pendib right now. Yeah. Well, it's just 18. I get more damage by not playing Predator. Okay. Shit, I'm actually gonna play everything and have nothing left to pen there because I got a survivor. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no. I got a survivor out the predator here. Unfortunate. Oh shit! I fucked it up. I fucked it up. All right, well, I was a math wrong on how much damage he was doing apparently. Masterful stab is still pretty good here. This noxious fumes is not getting me quite where I want to go as far as the damage. Can't he do couldn't he have just had like one little mook here that I could have just like the specimen like 14 more poison onto? Nineteen block, these are eleven block each. That's twelve block. That's like thirty-four block. And I just kind of have to keep him weak. I'm about to take damage, so Masterful Stab becomes much worse. D 
Deflex pretty good here, I think. That doubt's a pain in my ass. 24 becomes 30... That's like 45... No. 43. I'm going to the dash again. Maybe I should have held on to just a regular defend there, since it's a lot more efficient block ways. Thank god he's still weakened. There's a piercing whale. It's a lot worse when you have six uh, dexterity. Nineteen block, thirty block, thirty-eight. Oh shit, I should have done it this way first. Should have done that one last. Duh. Duh. I'm gonna hold on to a poison stab. Wow, that's That's a rough one. Hold up, can I get lethal? Oh, it's gonna be so hard because of his stupid thing. Six, seven, eight, nine. So that'll be like nine damage. That'll be another nine. Okay, so is it 88 minus 37 is, what is that? That's 51 minus 18 and it's 33. This will be doubled more than that, actually. 33, that'll do 24 damage, which leaves him at 9. This will not do 9 damage. Which means I have to survive her? Six, seven, eight. Hold on to that. Oh, actually, I don't need to. Woof! I actually just don't do anything. Don't play an attack. Keep Pen Nib for the start of the boss fight. Okay. Oh, hey, a kunai! Oh, wow! Now we really don't need to play footwork. Because, uh, I mean, we've, we've hit this ornamental fan quite a few times across this run. Another, other, other piercing whale? Just for, like, no... well, maybe. He does like to multi-attack. Especially if we haven't got our footwork up, it might be good. No, I think... Oh my god, this game is fucking... We've reached that point. We've reached the point where the game starts lagging out whenever I look at a bunch of cards. We've got a pretty good slew of potions here. What's the downside to another piercing whale? Not killing a bird when I would like to kill a bird? God damn, not having better block? Because late, later on, this is going to be kind of... Well, it's not going to be dead weight. Again, if we get it on a turn where he's multi-attacking, it's still good, even if we are sitting at, like... Well, we're going to drink the dex potion. So even if we're sitting at, like, 10 or 11 dex, I guess... Yeah, yeah okay. Okay, so I'm going to nap. Because what would there be to upgrade, even? Nothing worthwhile. God damn it. Okay. Fighting the big boy! Okay, first things first. Drink! Okay, so I think it's obvious that Masterful Stab. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, hey, there's like no block in this hand. My favorite. Probably kill him. Like, prevent a lot more damage, like that. 
Oh, hey, I guess that works too. I can just kill him with a regular strike, that's fine. Oh shit, I should have drank the artifact potion, I'm an idiot. Um, how dead can I make this man? Not super dead. Oh, I was about to play Noxious Fumes, I'm like, that's a power. That gets me enough block, and then I guess I just stab him? Sure. Okay, no longer weak. Fuck! God damn it! Oh, why couldn't I have Piercing Whale this turn? He would do zero damage. That upgraded Piercing Whale. Well, hold up. Let's see if we can draw into it. Rip. Rip. Okay, 13 damage. That doesn't kill him. Okay, if I Sucker Punch, that prevents 11 damage. If I Sucker Punch him... That's two times four. Uh, prevents eight damage. Oh wait, 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 wait. No, I'm not weakened. So Shiv actually kills him. And I get enough block. Perfect. Perfect. I think I just take seven here. Independent, right? Oh, less than that. Yeah, Masterful Stab has become trash. Almost played well laid plans. Um, this is a lot of damage. On my face. Getting that kunai would be nice. Hey, J Nerdling. Fuck off. Fuck off. God damn it. Yeah, getting that getting that kunai would be nice. 36. Oh, let's get rid of that one. get kunai like two more kunai procs I means taking damage though I hate doing that okay yeah we got to do it like this he's gonna fucking multi-tag me next turn right after I lost fucking piercing wheel again and he's no longer weak and most of my hand is Powers. Oh, I might need to play the powers just to get them out of my hand, out of the deck. Fuck, this hand sucks. Can't increase the kunai. Then he's gonna fucking... Every time. Ev okay, thank god. I was like, oh, he becomes unweak in multi-attacks. Fucking eat shit. Yeah, kunai might be too slow and inconsistent. I think I probably have to play at least a footwork. Waiting to fucking draw it, drawing every other power. Oh, good. Oh, good. Hold up, I have enough cards that I might be able to do this without footwork. Wait, what's- okay, hold up, hold up, what's the energy situation? So he gains two strength, so he'll be doing 40 damage. I'm gaining an extra four. Shit, maybe I should have done it first. 
So right now I'm going to go to 22, 31. He's doing 36. Oh wait, there's three dexterity. So he does 40 damage. This becomes 25, 37. I take three damage. Okay. Oh! It's even less than that. I should have just played the fucking footworks. Um, should I play the second footwork? And the well-laid plans? I should play, I should play this footwork. Oh my god. Yeah, I should have played the footworks. That probably cost us well laid plans. Like, there's an argument, Jesus Christ. There's an argument to be made on well laid plans, too. Like, this guy is. Like, just under half health. I think maybe I just should have gotten ham. Twenty three block is pretty nuts. Thank fucking god. Cause it's like if I don't uh, Yeah, you know what? I'm playing well-aid plans. Cause it also helps make sure that I can get Kunai. Because we are at eleven. Wow, fuck. Holy shit. I think that's the run. I think that's it. Yep. Yeah. Yep, should have played the footworks. Should have played the footworks. Should have played the footworks. I thought I thought he gained two strength. Wow, shit. Eh, yeah. Slay the spire is going back into lag mode. I'm going to I'm going to close it and reopen it cuz that'll probably fix it. So give me one hot second while we move on over to the defect. Wow, it's lagging the shit out of my whole computer. It's like every other patch does this. There we go. Holy shit. Yeah, it was taking like 100% of my CPU. And now it's not responding. Okay. All right, let's relaunch it. Hmm. Yeah. I think maybe I relive high. Because, uh... I feel like we should have won that run. I feel like... I made a couple goofy mistakes earlier in the run, but, yeah. I was so worried. I was so worried about not drawing block. I like playing bo oops, playing the footworks and then not drawing block on a turn where he was going to multi-attack and him just like wrecking my ass. But he just like slowly wrecked my ass <laughs> over like seven turns. It's not Windows, it's Slay the Spire. Jane Thing. Team Gohan Lincoln Park tried so hard. Rip. Rip! Ascension 18. Silent. Might be a while before we have another run that good. Let's see, what are our paths like? Man, man. Fireman. Fireman. Fireman, man. Fireman, man. Fireman. I think 4 is probably pushing it. I mean, we'll see when we get here. If our deck is just like extraordinary for some reason, then I guess we can go for it. I think Fireman, man. Fireman. Is pretty good. And there's a, sh a shop in the middle. Excuse me. Bring a zap. It's just so good. And so many fights. We're up against Slime Tony. Yeah, if we see an Electrodynamics too, that'll be big in that fight. Electrodynamics can, like, win that fight by itself. <sighs> Play zap because it's fucking free. Do I dual cast here? Hold up six. 22, 25. Doesn't kill him. I 
I can just make sure I've got... He's gonna take another 9, go down to 12, which means two strikes kill him, or this. That does it too. Ba -ba 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 ball lightning. That's a pretty good. That's one of the best first cards you can really ask for. I'm just gonna triple block, let the lightning orb do its job. Mmm, not great. Eh, 25, that's not bad by the end of turn 2. 17 damage, though. Oh, hey, there's like, uh... Hmm. There's like, uh, no block in this hand, man. Turns out he died anyway. Charge battery's pretty good. Go for the eyes can be good against Gremlin Knob and Legabulin. And just like punch this man. Nice. You punch the puddle, and then you win. That's just how it goes. I'm just Oh shit, I'm frail! Fuck it, I'll take one damage. Here we go. Really pile it on. Alright, well he's just dead. I'm glad I didn't go for attacking there, because I only took one damage, whereas I would have taken more. They changed, um, trigger the passive ability of all dark orbs. Yeah, they changed the passive on this. So now you might be able to legit go for, like, a crazy-ass dark build? I don't know. Because if you get a couple sources of dark, and you can start, like... If, if you get, like, three upgraded darknesses... Woof. And maybe some recursions. Because one thing I didn't realize about recursion is it actually keeps the value of the dark orb when it evokes it and puts it at the back. So if your dark orb's like proccing for like 24 damage, it'll do the 24 damage and then you'll have a 24 damage dark orb in the back. And then, you know, flips up to 30 and flips up to 36 and then you're just like, oh, just recursion that again. I'm just like, no, 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 no. So I think there's definitely a dark type build doable. I don't think we take it just because it's a skill and gremlin knob. And gremlin knob. I was gonna say, I'm actually feeling really good about our deck and our chances, and then we got fucking... We got the, the quad gremlin fight on an event node, so that's fun. There's no wizard, so that's good. I think we probably dogpile this man to death. This guy's gotta die. Um, actually I guess it's not that big a deal. The weakness does not matter as much for us. Well, not hitting him. Oh, who made me- wait, he made me frail? What? I thought he just made me weak. It's fucking baloney. Okay. Okay. Oh, he does both. That must be because of Ascension 17, that he does weak and frail. Okay, kill this guy. Damn it. Just hoping I kill the one in the back. Yeah, that was a little rough. Oh, floor four. Auto shield. Compile drive is really good. But auto shields is actually good enough block to deal with Lagavulin and. Uh, oh, shit. Hmm. Not super. Okay. Suddenly super. Now we have exactly enough block. Forgot that it costs zero. Uh, double slime. Okay, so we're good there. Oh, he's gonna split. Fuck. At exactly 35, too. Ooh, that's... Well, it's the worst split that could happen. So they're dealing 14. I can't block that. It's at least some good damage. It's another two. I mean, I guess I could with the potion, but I, I want to save that potion. Is that for free? Auto shield, 16... Or, yeah, so we've got 13 blocks, so boom. 
And we'll drop this little sack of goo. Mm. Oh yeah, no, that works. I was like, seven block. And there was a card that said five block in my hand, and I was just like, what do I do? Got him. Did we take damage that fight? Might have taken one. I don't know about new fission. Old fission, it, again, old fission was one of those things where it's like, if you got a lot of dark orbs, old fission's actually, like, absurd. So you just, like, shit out all the damage at once. I don't know about how good it is now. Well, we have a second chance to take a compile driver, and I'm not gonna pass it up. 21 puts us at 54. What are our upgrades? Auto shields upgrade's not bad. Go for the eyes upgrade. It's pretty good against Lagavulin and Gremlin Knob. Auto shields is also really good against Lagavulin, and I guess it's pretty good against the three sentries. Actually, maybe I should have done auto shields, because I think that one's probably better in a lot more fights. Mm, it's hard to say. Punch the man! Cool. Just let the lightning orbs do some work. Could use that auto shields last turn. Him down to within one strike. Oh fuck, I'm weakened. God damn it. Uh, okay. Cla kinda glad I didn't go for that other elite. I don't think we pick any of these. Wait. Hold up. Wasn't I at like... Like 43 health? Did I really take like 16 damage? Oof. Wow. Fuck that's bad. I guess two Laos. Not even three Laos. Just two Laos. Um... Ball Lightning wakes him up. Do I have a better wake up turn? Ball Lightning dual cast is like 18. It's like 28 damage. No, I don't think I have a better wake up turn. And this way we might get go for the eyes. Cost zero this turn. Whoop! Here we go. Here we go, boys and girls. Oh, man. We got the plasma. We got the fucking Earthworm Gym plasma. Mmm. Yeah, it's 10 block. I'm gonna use it. Downside is, uh, not a lot to do with all that plasma. Except for play another meteor, I guess. I'd be down for that. That's a pretty good go for the eyes. Like a zap. Pile driver, meteor, meteor, fuck. I almost don't want to play the other zap. Because then I can't play meteor. Do we bank on meteor? Because it kills him. It straight up kills him. Wow, that hurt. Fuck. Ten. He takes another three. He takes thirteen. Goes down to what? Eight? And then another. Yeah, okay, so that's just already just lethal right there. And I just like to play every card in my hand and be like, woo! Why couldn't I have done that last turn instead of taking however much damage I took? Ooh, minus two, minus two. Yeesh. Oh. Wait a minute. I was like, wait a minute. We don't have fucking lethal then. Well, one, we have lethal right there. And also, what? Toxic egg! Toxic egg! Don't think we take any of these. Aggregate gate becomes a little bit better. I don't think we go for that man. 
I think we leave that man alone. I think we can still go for the shop, though. Okay. Fuck. Come on! Both the events? That is a 1% chance that both of those events were actually fights. I feel robbed. Yeah, and this guy, like, only weakens me on turns where I'm not already weak. I think he's dead? Maybe not. Shit. Uh, this is 5 plus 9. That's like 14. Yeah, he's dead. Very dead. Double dead. 1%. Cool headed plus seems good. I actually fucking reinforced body. Here? Eh. It's a lot better than block, than defense. I'm gonna take the reinforced body, because I need things that stop me from dying. Oh sh shit, I went the wrong way. Fuck. Dick. I'm supposed to go to that shop, then the fire. Well, that's good. That's great. Um, They're doing 18 damage, which means I can do that. And that. Okay, so we can hit him twice. Perfect. Okay. That sucks. That sucks. We're at 247. That could really, really end up mattering. Like, I don't know if we're going to this fight now. Especially since we just got Toxic Egg. God, I screwed that up so bad. Um, I don't know that I like this hand. No Electrodynamics going into the Elite with 28 health. Uh... He's just dead. Doki. Shame that one of those was a Sender's Bane, but I figure I figure if I get another lightning orb up this early, it's gonna do that much more damage over the course of the fight. Which is why I did it like that. This is gonna suck. Okay, so now we just hope a lightning orb hits him. Thank God. We'll just take 10. Okay. Um. I think I'm fine taking one here. Orbs. Well, I mean, yeah. Two against one. Two against that guy. One on that guy. That's like around average-ish. So now, 50-50 split on these lightning orbs. Nice. Okay. We took what? Uh, 11 damage this fight? That's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Dazes are fucking annoying, though. Oh, and <laughs> I guess 12 free damage will end the rest of this fight pretty quick. Okay. Now I'll take a cool headed plus because we need more frost orbs. Fucking stack. Okay. That was a little rough. Spend two energy on that. 
Nice. Okay, we... Oh, fuck. I was gonna say we should have it from here, and then he decided 21 damage was the amount of damage he wanted to deal. I think I have to compile driver. Thank you. Okay, okay, we're fine. We're fine. It's gonna stop me from attacking next turn. It's fine. I think he's actually just dead. Yep. Whew. Corsair is pretty good. There are a lot of synergies. Synergizes with um, steroid and speed potions. Synergizes with bias cognition. And, you know, and it also like prevents hex, prevents confusion, prevents vulnerability. It's really nasty shit. I would love to upgrade a card, but we are we are pulling through this by the skin of our teeth here. Pass it or now, I guess. Maybe that wasn't the greatest. That could actually be kind of handy. Uh, compile driver first. Okay. So, 16 plus 6 is 22. That's not enough. I have two health. Boy. Oh boy. This is going to split him no matter what. So we just like go all in. Yeah, I think that's the run. I think that's probably the run. Uh, fuck. Okay, now we got this for this guy. Oh shit, I didn't have to do that. 9, 10, 11. Fuck. I could have gotten rid of a slime. Forgot about the frost orbs. Okay, no frail. That's good. Uh, hold up, what does he split at? He split it to 28. I can't control where the orbs are going. If I ball lightning. Okay. It's 12 damage. Puts him at exactly 28. Yeah, you have a good night. I, he has to split from lightning orbs. Because this gives me just enough to survive. Wow, fuck. That attack. Okay, 8 damage. I can manage that. Maybe I should have just taken the 1. Maybe I should have just taken the 1 damage. He splits at 28. Oh, fuck, but there's three targets now. Well, those are both the wrong guy. Mmm, and now I am frail. So... I think that's the run. <laughs> no, you? Yeah. You have a good day, cadets. Hold up, 12 damage puts him at... What? What does it put him at? Um, uh, okay, 12 damage... Puts him at... Uh, 32... Another 5... Splits him... Oh shit, no, tw okay, yep. So I need all the lightning orbs to hit him. RIP! And that was the run, because I didn't go to the shop. If I went to the shop, I might have won the run. Go to the shop. Go to the shop. Lesson of the day. Go to the shop. There's good stuff in the shop. The shop... The shopkeeper he sells cards. I had a fucking toxic egg, which means all his skills would have been upgraded. Uh, I'm gonna take the 7 HP and rock and roll. Okay. Man, man. Fireman, fireman. Fireman, man. Fireman, man, man. Fireman, fireman, man. Mm. Going to that fire means I have to skip that man. Mm. 
So we go this way. Okay, no, no, it's still Fireman Man. Oh shit, that's Fireman. Fire. Oh. It means I have to skip one of the fights. That's fine. I'll just do it. Not a great opening turn. Fucking man, I lost so much, so much health to double louse on that defect run, and here I am again, just like getting fucking bullied. Oh, by the louse! Get out of here! Why is it? I have gotten Slime Tony every run tonight. It has been non-stop Tony. Non-stop sliming. No, look at the upgrade. Sure. <laughs> Rowan seems a good pick. And that's it. The bird. No point. I guess I could intimidate to just like get it out of the deck. That still seems bad. Ho! If we had Shuriken or Kunai or Pendib or Nunchaku, that would have been useful. Got a pretty good chance of killing the next turn, so I'm just gonna make sure I only take one damage. I already took one damage earlier this fight. Perfect. So we gained 4 HP. Ooh. We're still on Ascension 17, which means we can actually block against uh, Legavulin and Gremlin Knob without instantly losing. This arm's also really good. Especially against Legavulin. It's not really any good against. Yeah, I guess it's worse. It's worse than two thirds of the elite fights, and it's not super great against Slime Tony either. Uh, now I'm gonna take the anger. Just like failed four times to click. Okay, well we just kill this man, and it's fine. No biggie, no problem. I don't feel like taking damage. I mean, we're down by like 11 health, so. Guy does not seem particularly threatening. He's already at 15. Yeah. Just toast him. Just toast him. I don't know that I want to. Oh wait, I didn't take shrug it off. I took. Uh... Yeah. Oh. I should have gone for the event. I wasn't even thinking. I'll take a pummel. There's a pretty high chance we get something that that works with. Greater Whirlwind's pretty good for the, uh, the three amigos, but Bash is good for the other ones, so... We bashing. I think I armaments... Whirlwind. Doesn't do as much damage now, but next time we can steroid potion and just like blast the shit out of them. Steroid potion actually gets us more damage here. Actually, if I did steroid and energy, eh, whatever. Just hit him a bunch. Yeah, he's at 19. That's fine. I'm not gonna even see that whirlwind. That's fine. Ooh. Okay, so we're looking at going for two, maybe three elite fights this act. Especially since that was such a good gremlin knob. Iron Wave, Pommel Strike, Disarm. Could use a bit more actual, like, block stuff, and it's a block on an attack. It does get hit twice by, like, a Vulin. 
Do we upgrade Whirlwind? Yeah, considering we're up against Slime Tony. Whirlwind's pretty good in that fight. Ancient Tea Set. If we... I mean, if we open... If we get Whirlwind opening hand after naps, could be good. Could be good. Excuse me. Get two extra damage out of Pummel. Seems bad. Uh, let's get, like, two extra damage out of every anger we play. That seems better. Okay. Bronze Scales. Man, Bronze Scales is such a good relic. Maybe I should have played an Energy Potion there. Whirlwind for 24. Yep. Interesting sound effect they added to Whirlwind. Oof. Oof la goof. I guess I play this just because it's free and fuck them. Alright, well, we took like... 40 damage or something in that fight. Something absurd. Bag of prep! Okay, okay, okay. Wow, I've been out for three disarms and I haven't taken any. But uppercut's so fucking good. I'll lose the gold. I would really like to do an elite fight, so I'm gonna just throw this at everybody. So what do we got? 14 damage? Can we prevent all of that if I really want to? That seems good. Try to get rid of this idiot. I don't even need to block all that. No, 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 no. Do it like this. Take two damage, that's fine. Oh, yeah. The uh, bronze scales. Oh, hey, here we go. Headbutt. Headbutt. Fucking another shop. Okay. I don't take any of these cards. Okay, Lagavulin. So we got one of each. Ooh. Oh, shit, I didn't rest. Um, am I ever looking at a better turn than this? Bash wakes him up st straight up, so. Drink the potion. Let's see. So he takes, he goes down by like 32. I might want to save that, though. This is still probably our best wake up turn. Yeah. I think I probably want to save that for Slime Tony. Especially once he's, he's split a bit. Drink this now. Hmm. I mean, the the weak doesn't do much here, but the vulnerable does. Bash. How likely am I to go through and find this anger again? Not super likely. So I think I just strike an anger instead of armamenting anger. It seems a lot better. He's gonna be vulnerable for the rest of the fight. Whoop! What can I put on top? Anger? Seems decent. Seems like he's probably dead. <laughs> probably should have just been a strike. Ah, eh, it doesn't matter. Might be decent. Um... Skip. Do we have to nap here? What will we upgrade? Probably uppercut. Iron Wave's not a bad candidate. Armaments. I think we nap. Ah, I probably shouldn't have. I have an upgraded Whirlwinds and a 
what's it called? Frighten? Intimidate? It does do the most damage. By a bunch. Oh hey, I've got five extra energy. Oh hey, if I get seven energy right now, eight times seven, that is 56. That's a pretty good turn one. That's a pretty good turn one. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Do I give him the pommel? The pommel, sorry. It's only 12 damage. I can get way more damage next turn. So just wait here. What do I headbutt to the top? Whirlwind? Probably Whirlwind. That does 13 damage. Hold up. That does 18 damage. That does 19 damage. There we go. 46 is a pretty good split. They split it 23 now. Uh, this does 24 damage. You split them both. Then I have four slimes to worry about. Maybe I shouldn't have put the whirlwind on top. Yeah, considering Intimidate is also in my hand. And again, 16 and 22 are pretty good splits. You've got a lot of health. Ooh, hey, look what I can do. Put the whirlwind back on top. Okay, so we take 16. It's not too bad. I don't know why I did both those attacks at the same person. I guess because it didn't matter. Because it's 24 damage to everybody anyway. Feed? Mm. I think I'm gonna take the black blood. That difference of- that's- that's- that is two, two, uh, blood vials worth of extra healing per fight. That can sustain you for quite a bit. I don't think we want to go here. We don't have that much cash anyway. Maybe there. Uh, let's see, what are we looking at? Man, fire, fire man, fire man. Just man. Man, fire man. Man, fire man, man. Yeah. This way it's got more question marks. Probably just not even gonna do that shop. He sure is hitting me really hard in the face. Yeah, I didn't get like anything that blocks except Iron Wave, so this is this is just gonna hurt. So if I can get rid of Okay, so I do this. Then I do that. Then I reduce the shit out of his plated armor with that, and then I play Whirlwind for funsies, and then I take 21. I am frail. That sucks. Oh, Whirlwind seems pretty good. Yeah, he's almost out of plated armor at this point. Whirlwind doesn't kill him, though. Um, shit, I'm still frail. Ah, he was vulnerable. Gotcha. I got confused. Thunderclap plus Whirlwind seems pretty good. Especially since two of the elite fights. I'm gonna fight him. I'm gonna fight him! I don't wanna lose 214 gold. Fuck that. So that's 24 damage. That almost kills him. Hold up. There's nothing else I can get. I can draw and intimidate. Doesn't really help me kill him. Alright, I'll, I'll take 12. Oh! And Bronze Scales finished him off. Minus 4 dex is pretty bad. I do have this. 
So... Yeah, we're one's just like lethal next turn. Feed, actually. Yeah! Hold up. Oh, whoa. 10 damage. Okay, so... That actually does more and it makes him vulnerable. Perfect! That wasn't too bad. We started at, what, 54? We lost like 5 health. And now we have... Ooh, red mask. Weak at the start of the fight. Oh, fuck. Wow. Upgraded clothesline. I need to start getting things that block, but upgraded clotheslines. Like, too good. Really? Really? Okay, what do you got? <sighs> Flame is pretty good with pommel. I don't think we can try to get maximum value out of Maw Bank. I think we just gotta take what we're offered. Inflame True Grit. Card removal. Okay. And then we mosey. Okay, well the weak doesn't matter so much since he doesn't attack turn one. Probably want to save that for after. Hold up, actually. Let's do this. Like get rid of all of those. There we go. I didn't wanna I didn't wanna anger in case I could draw into a bash first. Iron Wave seems pretty good for next turn. Never mind. Uh, clothesline. Uh, it's gonna put a daze in my deck. But it also makes me way more powerful. Oh, I'm weakened. Fuck. Well, so is he. And he's vulnerable, so... Yeah, 16 health. I think he just dies. Sick. I don't think we take any of these. Do we want to go to a fire first? What are we looking to upgrade? Anything? Inflame, True Grit, a couple of cards. I think we go to the fight and then see how we feel before going, before deciding, oh shit, this way he's got one less fight and one more fire. That's kind of important. Alright, well, let's do this fight first and then see how it goes. Okay, that's a little handy. In fact, that's more than a little handy. I'm just gonna do this now because I've got like uppercut I've got clothesline I've got a bunch of stuff so like just making sure that all does what it's supposed to do and I've got a weak potion should I need it okay so they're coming at me for like 22 combined damage 21 combined damage Ooh. oh 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 creating the feed would be pretty good too I should probably block. Probably. Wow, he got a lot of block. Jesus. Now's the part where I just go completely fucking ham. Or do I? No, let's weaken him. Let's not go so ham. Still 16 damage. There we go. Oh boy, we really need good block cards. We really need some block. Ooh, that's a lot better. Hold up. I can make it even better. Okay, good news is he's dead. Bad news is we're at 25. Nope. Oh fuck, we ha- okay. Yep, never mind. 
Made my decision. We're napping, then fighting the elite, then going left. Oh, thank God! Inflame right at the start. That's that's a pretty big help. It's like three damage. Okay. Hmm. Annoying. Uh, this kills him. But then I take 30. Then I take 21. Just 30 damage to that guy. Or... No, he's already weak. What else do I do? If I do this twice, Iron Wave only loses me 3 damage. And prevents five. Okay. Mmm. Rip. What do I want to armaments? Probably a defense. Honestly, maybe intimidate, but. Well, he's about to resummon dude, so I think I take the whirlwind. Then I wait. Yeah, Whirlwind's just lethal here. That's still 21 damage. Yikes. I mean, it does keep him summoning, but... If only he were buffing on his turns after the summon, instead of attacking, that would work out pretty well for me. Good news is he's probably dead next turn. Rip feed. Um, Hold up. 5, becomes 9 damage, which becomes 13 damage. Yeah, we got this. Well, that was pretty rough. We started at like 50-something, and at 24. Ooh! No, 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 no. I need cards that block, I need cards that block. Oh good, oh good, my favorite man, Mr. McSnecko. I can intimidate just to make sure he's weak next turn. Turn that proc is nice. The angers aren't gonna go super well here. I will play a f uh, one uh, bleh, vanilla cost and flame. That kunai doing some work. Woof. It is 24 damage. Or I could take one. No, I think I need this fight to end quickly. See, if we just had. Whoa, shit. If we had just had, like, slightly better block, our health would be so much higher. Because every little bit that we're not taking, we're just, like, you know, gaining back and gaining back and gaining back. Um. How do I eat you? I do that. That's lethal. Fuck. Fuck. Should I have just close line first? If we gain just a bit more strength, we can turn Reaper into just a fucking heal machine. That- okay. 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 That helps. Uh, we already turned off Maw Bank. Hey, remember that thing I said about, like, gaining a little more strength? Turning into a healing machine? Let's try doing that. Let's try making that happen. Stab hand. Oof. Um, that seems like a good one to do here. Oh, he was already weak. Of course he was. Should have struck and played Volvin for nothing. Oh yeah! Thread Needle! Never mind, we're fine, we're cool. He's gonna go... Uh, we're not on 18 yet, so he's not gonna go, like, super crazy. Which, I mean, thank God.
Is there something I really want to headbutt? Only uppercut since he's about to run out of, uh... Shit, I can't take this much damage. Since he's about to run out of weak. Yep. Yep, this is the end of the fight. Because I have no block. I have only weak. G G All right, well, it's about that time. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. If you like what you saw, feel free to follow both here on Twitch as well as the various social media and video hosting platforms linked down below. Uh, next stream will be tomorrow night from 1 a.m. till 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you don't know what time that is in your time zone, that is approximately 21 hours and 10 minutes from right now. We will be cont Oh, actually no, so tomorrow's Thursday. So I've decided, because the Sunday games of I want to be the guy, I'm like always tired for them. I've decided I want to be the guy is going to go in every non-Sunday, non-Slay the Spires sl slot until we beat it. So tomorrow is I want to be the guy until we beat it. And if we don't beat it, then Friday is I want to be the guy until we beat it. If we don't beat it, then Saturday is I want to be the guy until we beat it. If and when we do beat it, I assume it'll probably be tomorrow, maybe Friday. I'll probably be more well rested Friday. Um, we're gonna be continuing Brutal Doom. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Y'all have a good night, and I'll see you later.